and a pleasant good evening to you and yours, and welcome to the Brevard Sports Network. And tonight, our special presentation of FHSAA Regional Quarterfinal Volleyball Action. It's Class 5A, Region 2, and tonight it is the top seed in that region, the Merritt Island Mustangs taking on the number eight seed in that region, the Bayside Bears. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the broadcast tonight my guest volleyball broadcaster. She comes on all of the volleyball broadcast, an outstanding volleyball coach. We'll find out about her volleyball career here in just a little bit, but please help me welcome Coach, I'm going to say Coach Katrina. Coach, how are you? <laughs> Pull that up. Ooh, I am excellent. I'm glad to be here. Thank you very much. All right. Let's let's uh, let's tell everybody about the starters tonight. For the Merritt Island Mustangs out on the floor right now, you got Annabelle Jones, you've got Cam Childers, Shamaya Richardson, Bella Schwantz, Maddie Johnson, and Elena Martin. And for, I just need that clipboard right there. And for the Bayside Bears at the moment, you're going to have Jasmine Colton, Jenna Walters, Camille Moeller, your libero out on the floor right now is number one. That's Kayla McGarren. And also out on, or sorry, check that. Yeah, she's out there. And number eight, Makayla Reynolds. Tonight's broadcast Alrighty. is brought to you by the, brought to you by Martinez Construction Services. All of the information on the bottom of the screen. one nothing Mustangs on top. Now that all the good stuff's out of the way. Coach, how are you? I'm excellent. How are you? I'm good. Good to have you here tonight. All right. So when you're playing in these championship matches um, or these, these FHSAA regional matches, I'll finish the question in a minute. Set. And Maddie Johnson, nice dig there. Set. Oh, and we're going to get a double yeah. right out of the gate, two to nothing, Merritt Island on top. The Mustangs are 15 and 0 all time against Bayside. Wow. Angie Patrick, 461 career wins, 21st year. Bayside head coach Nicole Hunt, she's in her eighth year, 76 victories, and that'll go out on a service there, two to one. Coach, what do you look for early in these matches? Uh, you need to get to five first, that's for sure. We always call it first to five. Okay. Um, a lot of the time, too, is they're very nervous. Um, so you want to definitely come out hitting hard. Uh, definitely not pulling back. Um, biggest thing, too, is making your serves. For some reason, in the beginning of matches, it's usually when everybody misses their serves, their arms aren't warmed up. Um, so if you can get your team to come out, not miss any serves, in the first 10 points of the game, there's usually a good chance you're going to win. There you go. Okay. <laughs> Coach uh, Cam Childers is at the line. I had a chance to speak to her last week. She's an Oklahoma transfer, and it'll be 4-1. to one. I was where she was from. She's, from. she's from Oklahoma. And the thing about Cam, she told me, was her, her team in Oklahoma, um, they didn't reach this point in the season. So this is a new experience for her. Wow. But Cam has been really hot down the stretch. She's led the team in a lot of statistical categories. Another player that's been outstanding is a player you know well in yep. Shamaya Richardson and Elena Absolutely. Martin with the kill. That girl can do anything. Yeah. Tell you what. She is, I call her the ultimate volleyball player because she can get you a kill. She can get you a dig. She, she can, can serve. <laughs> she can set. She can do it all. I couldn't believe when I saw her set and I was like, wow. She set a 20-foot set from that back corner last game and it was... To Shamaya, actually. Yeah. And look, Shamaya just said to her now. And I think that's something that the Mustangs have that a lot of teams don't, is versatility. Yep. Uh, these girls can do it all, like we were saying. Um, if you can get girls to pretty much play any position, you're going to do so much better. Yep. So it's it's not saying, you know, hey, you just, you're just you the setter. No, she needs to be able to hit. She needs to be able to play defense. Uh, everybody on the team needs to learn how to set. Now, that comes with a very biased opinion, though. <laughs> <laughs> because what kind of coach are you? I was a setter. There you go. <laughs> I mean, that's what I played. So, so tell yeah, us a little biased. Tell us about your volleyball career. The Mustangs lead this 6-2. to two. Well, I played in Dallas, Texas. Right. And then I played in Michigan. Uh-huh. Um, we actually made it to the state finals and lost. Okay. And a uh, funny story is, 
I was one of the top servers in um, our team. There you go. I didn't miss a serve all year. Wow. I still hold the record there, 364 out uh, of 365 uh, serves. And guess when I missed my only serve out of the entire season? In the state tournament? In the state tournament. That's, in the last point. That's the way it usually works. I'm, I'm telling you, it was terrible. Eight to two is our score I'll here. I'll never forget it. Merritt Island yeah. doing what Merritt Island yep, does. Going on a run. This time of the year. And the thing that you have to be careful of if you're Bayside is, and I always say this about Merritt Island, is one minute you look up and you're it's 4-4. Four, four. And then the next minute you look up and it's 15-4. to four, Yep. And you have absolutely no idea and how you, know why? you got there. Why? Oh, yeah. Serve receive. Yeah. Serve receive is critical when you play – any team, and especially Merritt Island. They have some of the best servers I've seen. Um, and serve receive is killer. You could do great at offense and be the best in your districts in offense, but if you can't get the ball up, you're not going to score. Well, we saw that in the district semifinals mm -hmm. with Bayside. But look, mm -hmm. the, I, Bayside's write-up is out there. We put, it, we put it out there today. In the district semifinals, they ran away with the first set. But then all of a sudden, serve receive for Bayside yep. fell apart, and Satellite won three straight matches with relative or three straight games with relative ease. Yep. Uh, I want to tell everybody tonight's broadcast is brought to you by Martinez Construction Services, a family-owned business founded based on their passion for design and construction. At Martinez Construction Services, they are in this industry because they love what they do. They enjoy working with multidisciplinary. Uh, projects and teams and take pride in ongoing relationships they have developed with their clients. Located in Merritt Island, for more information, www.martinezconstruction.com. And there is another point for the Mustangs. And just like we just said, it's 10-2. Mm -hmm. I mean, not to take away from Bayside. They are very young. Yeah, they are young. Very young. And... Um, you know, it takes some time to build a, a legacy, per se. Kill um, by Martin. So. And that's a great point by you about Bayside because they have two seniors, mm -hmm. but all of their statistical leaders are either sophomores or juniors. Yeah. Take, for example, sophomore setter um, Camille. Or, uh, Camille Moeller. <laughs> Camille Moeller set the yeah. program record this year with 484 Beautiful set. sets. Wow. And Bayside with a point, 11-3. Nice. Checking in. And number 10, I mean, come on. Checking um, in for the band. Jenna Walters is incredible. Jenna Walters, I have watched her play. I've played against her in club season, and let me tell you, she is nobody to mess with. She is the real deal. Amber Waskowitz checks in. I won't leave you with that last name on your first broadcast, Coach. <laughs> I'm not even going to try it. <laughs> and there's I mean, a come kill on. by Elena Martin. Yeah, it's kind of funny watching from home. And um, some of the girls, I was telling you earlier, you'll hear uh, say the names. And I'm like, that's got to be hard. Because some of these names I'm looking at right now, and there's no way I could even <laughs> tell yeah. you what they are. <laughs> Said here. And here's another uh, example. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Janae McClinn, a, a, just a sophomore. But she's second on the team in there blocks. Walter yep. with a kill. Woo. Yep. Walters is telling him, come on, I found something yep, here. Let's right. go after it. She's like, feed the bear. <laughs> yeah, let's go. <laughs> right? I mean, Bayside Bears. <laughs> Switch headset, see if that works better for you. All right, is that better? Is that any better? Sure. Yeah, that's better. Can you hear me? Yeah. yeah. Which is shocking because I'm like one of the loudest people you'll ever meet. Yeah, you just got to make <laughs> sure you keep this thing up close. So you can bend that any way yeah, you I need did. to. Yeah. yeah, I did. All right. This is Junior Bella Schwantz Woo! at the line. That's an ace for Bella. Bella has one of the best serves. Bella. Uh, she Anna, can do so many things with her serve. She now ties Annabelle Jones yeah. for the team lead with 46 wow. first service points this year. Is that aces, I'm assuming? Yes. Yeah. There's another one. And she takes the team lead. Wow. Tonight's broadcast is also brought to you by the Lady Mustang Side Out Club. We're going to tell you about them throughout the night because they need some help finishing these oh, sand courts. Yes. And these sand courts are extremely important. Yeah. 
See if she can get the three in a row, the hat trick of aces. Nope. Nope. That's out. 15, 16. Well, Coach, Followed what technically team. is an ace? Uh, an ace is a ball that uh, takes a di different directory off of your yeah. arms. <laughs> is that technical? That's enough? an ace. That's an ace. Or basically hitting the floor. That's another ace. Right. Um, basically anything you can't control or be touched by the second Now, person. what if they receive it, play it, and it doesn't go over the net? That is not an ace. That is not an nope. ace. And that run ends, but a good one for yep. Schwantz. Three aces in that serve. And checking in for Bayside is number one, Kayla McGarren, also out on the floor. Jenna Walters, Jasmine Colton. Number 11 as well is Camille Moeller and Amber Waskowitz. And here I'm looking at the score, and it's 17 to 5. Look just what we talked about. <laughs> oh, wow. Cam Woo. Childers with a big time kill. Hey, I mean, that was big. 18 to 5. And here is Shamaya Richardson. And again, from her days at Space Coast to now, I've just enjoyed watching oh, her. Oh, she's career. amazing. She is so versatile as well. Uh, great team player. Oh, what a dig. My daughter played with her, and she was one of Kennedy's best friends. So, um, but, oh, wow. That's Woo. the thing. Riley Loggins was on the floor and they tried to foot yep. dig that one. But not a good idea. Nah. <laughs> nah. Sometimes it works though. I mean it does. Yeah, I've seen it work. I've, I've seen, seen Riley Loggins do it. Yeah, I've seen it happen. And here is arguably the team MVP, Camille Moeller, the five six sophomore at the line. She leads the team in assists, digs, and I believe aces as well. Yep. Which is great. Yeah. She's, she can hustle, man, I'll tell you what. That's it. Oh, that's in. Nice little shot there. 18, I'll tell you what, she's come six. a long way since I coached her um, about two seasons ago in club, and um, she really has worked her butt off. Can I say butt? You can say butt. <laughs> you can say butt. You can, absolutely. <sighs> oh. Ch oh! That's a wall. Colton Woo! with a big block in front. And that's why she leads the team this year with 71. That's, Jasmine. that's second in the county yeah, behind uh, the young lady from Melbourne. Oh my gosh, Ava? Yeah. She led the county in blocks this year. Oh, 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 you're talking about a record or are you talking about this year? This just, just, oh, just this um, year. Who was that that had blocks? I got to look her up. Uh, um, Ariana? I can't remember. The middle? Cannot remember, but she she definitely she she, she's from Brazil, correct? She, yes. Yeah, that's Ariana. Okay. Yep, I coached her last year. Childers wow, with the kill. Wow. Nineteen to eight. Beautiful go ahead. You're swing. good. You don't have to duck. Annabelle Jones to serve. Annabelle, I tell you what, the thing that I love about Coach Patrick and a lot of coaches in this county is that they put their faith in young talent. And Annabelle Jones is the She's perfect example. She's only a sophomore. sophomore. Yeah. And that, setting that for the almost, Mustangs. That was almost an ace. But somebody saved it, so it's not. Nice touch. Walters. Nice up. Nice up. Beautiful set. Ah, Out. Got to finish that swing. 20 to 8. Set one. Now, if the Mustangs win, we'll be back here on Saturday as they will take on either Lake Placid or Satellite. Not really? sure of a game time oh, wow. on Saturday, but we'll be here. Awesome. And you can thank well, that's Martinez another ace. Construction for that. Coming up between sets, we're going to tell you how you can help. I might, might as well just tell you now. Uh, yep. Timeout. While we got a timeout on the floor, uh, the Merritt Island volleyball team needs a ton of help to build five sand courts. I believe now they have enough uh, for two and a half, maybe three. This is not any old sand they can just go over to the beach and grab. This is specialized sand, and there are a lot of reasons that these courts need to be here. First of all, beach volleyball is one of the fastest growing sports in the NCAA. Uh, in the NCAA. Second of all, we got a lot of these girls out there on scholarships playing beach volleyball. Yep. Third of all, right now, the county is growing exponentially in terms of teams that are playing this sport. Yes, those five courts over at Satellite are absolutely terrific, but we need more. They're beautiful. Yeah, they are. And you can help 
the Mustangs reach their goal. The information on the bottom of the screen there. Zell, uh, the Zell account, Lady Mustangs Even family. a dollar. Yep, even a dollar at gmail.com. So that's good. Uh, that's a good point. Yeah. Good point. Think about it, you know. Alice Slaughterzinski and Katrina Garcia with you here. 21 to 8. The Mustangs on top. Set one. Annabelle Jones out of the timeout. I tell you what, Alan, you're pretty good at this. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely make this look easy. And it's still 21-9 for some reason. And I'll tell you this, I, I'm very thankful that you do this as well for the community. Well, thank you. I sit at home after I get home late from work sometimes, and I'm like, I get to watch volleyball. Yeah. <laughs> pretty much every game. <laughs> I'm sad it's over. Wow. That's a kill, 22-9. And I'll tell you what, and don't tell the football people this. But oh, I've I been, watch football too, by the way. I know, but I I've been, I've been, let's just say football this year has been up and down, yeah. up and down. Yeah. I have really looked forward to covering every volleyball match that we've done this year. It's been an exciting season. And as the talent continues to grow and get better, these matches are incredible. Oh, Walters. Woo, nice swing. With the kill. And that's the thing, Brevard County. I mean, volleyball was quiet for a long time, and it, yep. it's really starting to pull a lot of talent. A lot of colleges are coming to Brevard yep. County. They're visiting schools uh, and, you know, checking on them. So it brings. Oh, Jasmine McClinn checks in. Oh, oh nice job whoa, whoa, by whoa. Jones. Wow. That was close to yep. an in net. Yep. That's what I, I think thought. they called it. No, she called oh, it. Oh, double. double. Okay. He called it double for sure. That was close. She stayed out of the net, though. That was yeah, pretty good. Yeah, she did. Colton, right hey, now. Bayside made it to a double digit, though. Yeah, 22-11. Got him doubled up for hey. sure. Hi, I've seen arcing. funnier things, so you never know. Yeah. <laughs> wow. And there's a block. Oof. And I tell you what, Janae, no. Janae McClinn. She, she, uh, she went right through that block. She Martin, did. Yep. McClinn does a terrific job. She is second on the team in blocks. And to the line to try to close it out will be Maddie Johnson. 23 to 11 here. She's also a sophomore, too. Wow. Yeah. Or she, no, she's uh, actually, Maddie's a senior this year. No, 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 McClinn. Oh, McClinn. Oh, yeah. Very young team. Yeah, it is. Merritt Island just stays Set point. so clean. Yep. Uh, constant movement. This is their time of the year. Yeah. They're very. Uh, They've been to six Final Fours, five under Patrick, geez. one under Connie Denneberg. Like a weld oil machine. It is. It really is. It's fun to watch them, though. Oh, wow, oh, what a dig. And that's oh, my gosh, one, Camille. Yeah. Beautiful dig by Camille. And 25 to 11, the first set goes. We'll step aside. We'll be right back here on BSA. Two, one. All right, welcome back. I want to tell you about the person on the screen there, Martinez Construction. They have clients that include various branches of the U.S. federal government, design, build construction companies, and residential developmental companies. Uh, one of their strengths is that they understand the importance of good relationships with their clients, no matter the size of the project or the size of the company. Martinez Construction has built a reputation for delivering their services under demanding schedules and challenging project requirements. For more information, visit www.martinezconstruction.com or call 321-349-2000. We also want to thank the Mustang Side Out Club. Without the Lady Mustang Side Out Club, this broadcast is also not possible. And again, if you can help, finish these sand courts here 
uh, please do so. Again, uh, the Zell address to donate, and as Katrina said, even a dollar uh, will help towards that goal. Um, it is uh, Lady Mustangs Family at gmail.com. As we get set for set number two here. And coming up, this is the 2023 FHSAA Girls Volleyball Championships. The final four concludes in Winter Haven. And hopefully, Brevard County will have a couple of teams there. Uh, it is my opinion that we will have two in the final four. You're looking at one and the other I believe, to be the Vieira Hawks. Oh, yeah. So, Tell me about seeing Izzy Stark play this year for Vieira. She's amazing. Unbelievable. Um, even even on TV watching her, yeah. it's just her technical play is amazing. Um, she's tall, which helps a lot. Yeah. But you can definitely tell she's she's been bred, born and bred to play. You know, her sister also plays. Yeah. She's amazing. At, at Penn State, at Penn State right State, here. I watch her uh, play, and she's very good as well. Yeah. So, and, and they're going to be playing together. I mean, yeah. how awesome is that? You don't hear that very often. No, nope. the last time they did so, Izzy was a freshman. Uh, she was a, a senior, and they won a state championship in wow. Colorado. Yeah, well, look to Penn State in the next couple of years to win. They're eighth. They won seven. Yep. You know all about that Big Ten volleyball, oh, don't you? Oh, I do. I do. I mean, go blue. <laughs> I, you know, I got to put them out there. Starting off here for Bayside this time. Uh, I like the move to start McClinn here unless the libero is going to check in. Uh, Kayla McGarren does check in for Janae McClinn. So it'll be McGarren, Walters, Waskowitz, Colton. Also up front is going to be Kaylee McLean. And who am I missing? Oh, I'm missing Camille Moeller. Oh, goodness. The sophomore. I can't, I can't miss the leader in three categories. No. And for Merritt Island, it's going to be Martin Childers. Looks like uh, Maddie Johnson, Shamaya Richardson, Bella Schwantz. And serving is the sophomore, Annabelle Jones. Set oh here by goodness. Colton. Nice set. Oh, what a beautiful set. And a nice dig by Martin. Oh, my goodness. Woo. There's those first point jitters. <laughs> yeah. That's what I was talking about. Oh. Childers, way That's deep. Out. Way deep. She pushed. I call that a beat shot. They're yeah. trying to hit that back yep. corner. They're trying to. Yeah, exactly. And if you get underneath it, it just ends up sailing out. But we talked about the youth of Bayside. And next year they will have... Camille coming back. Camille, Jenna. Oh, gosh. Jasmine. Oh, they, they're, they're third leader in kills. Uh, Haley Vermill. Sure. They're going to be a good team. And, you know, and as young as they are. That's out. That's out. Two yeah. to nothing. As young as they are, they're really holding their own. Trust me. It yeah. can be a lot worse. Yeah. Um, it's not easy playing Mar Merritt Island. No. Nope. Number one. I mean, I used to play them, so I know. Yep. <laughs> when I coached at Mill High. So, I get it. Nice set there. Beautiful set. Shoulders. Oh, oh, that's a rafters. Nice Woo! job by Walters to pull that out. Free yeah. ball. That's not easy to do. Set. This is that's Johnson. Let's see you what Bayside can do here. Tip. Colton. Nearly. It's funny because I can basically. Oh, wow. Oh, my God, Camille. Beautiful mm. up. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Set. Martin. And, wow. and Martin. Ooh. How about Elena Martin? Oh, my goodness. Ah, oh, too tight. <laughs> That's all she could do, though. Caught a net Not violation. Much. Wow. What yeah. a rally. That was amazing. You were into it. Yeah. Oh, I will. <laughs> And, and that's the hard part as a coach. I mean, I can basically call what's going to be done. So I'm like kind of doing it ahead. I'm like, oops. That was funny. A little foreshadowing for you. Carol Hurd says, hello, coach. <laughs> Aliyah Hobbs says, hello, coach. Oh, my girl. And Camille uh, uh, and Jessica Gladden. Uh, no, no Vieira broadcast. Uh, nobody oh, wow. reached out oh, wow. from Vieira to sponsor the broadcast. The, FH keep that one in. the FHSAA charges for these broadcasts, yep. and we didn't have anybody reach out uh, to uh, help us with that cost. Wow. That's out. Hopefully, we can find somebody Saturday 
and it's 3-2 Bayside. Second set. Don't normally see Miss serves this early on. This is the time of the year when people realize that these cost money. Yeah, it does. Yeah, no. One. You think they're going to let us do this for free? Uh -huh. It's not cheap. Nope. Set. Wow. Oh, great kill. And we're tied at three apiece by but hey, Bella Schwan. They are more than welcome to help out. That's right. That's <laughs> what I always say. You know? Like Martinez Construction. That's right. He paid you know? uh, Martinez Countdown Construction. Helped. Yeah. Countdown uh, did before. Yep. Yeah. My, my Supreme friend, title. Yeah. Supreme title. Yeah. Miss Mama Geach. I'm going to do yeah. a shout out to her. In the net. Yeah, so. 4 3. As Maddie Johnson, who had a great, did a great job at the line with yes. three aces. Yeah, in the first game. Yeah. So let's see what she does here. Oh, wow, it's beautiful. Walters. Nice hustle. Moeller. Oh, my goodness. It's a free one here. Set. <laughs> Got to hit those balls. Richardson out. out. Love nice. watching Larry Torchia basically with the flag. Free, basically just gave him an easy free ball, though. Yep, yeah, sure did. Away. As Colton will go to the line. Mr. Mitch says, let's go. They do. Nice serve. Set by Jones. Beautiful Martin set. again. The you left know, hand. That's that quick set, quick offense that is hard five, to stop. 5 4, Merritt Island. Coach, is there a difference between a big left handed bomb and a right handed bomb at the net? Um, honestly, I would say that your angle to play defense is what's more dif difficult. Um, there's not as many left-hand hitters, right. so you have a lot of right-hand hitters, obviously. Right. So your team is used to playing right-handed defense. Right. So if you're not ready for a lefty, uh, it can really hurt you defensively. Nice so, job nice by tip. Janae McClendon. Nice Looked like she was going to swing, and uh, she took the tip. I love the energy yeah. of Camille Moeller. Oh, she's, let me tell you. She was incredible uh, when I coached five, her. Five. She really brought our team up. When our team was down, um, she was one of the first ones to be in there getting everybody going. Wow. Oh, oh, oh. Nope. She almost had that. 6-5. Almost had that. Mustangs. A little more press than I think she would have had that. Here Island up one set to none here. Set number two as Bella Schwantz goes to the line. Hard We're to block her, though. Ooh. Yeah, no, it is. <laughs> oh, nice oh, job. Good. Nice job, Camille. She, she hit the net, though. No, that was a ball. Was it? Okay. Yep, it was all ball. McClendon, free one here. Set by. Oh. Oh, too short. Wow. Tied at six. Tied, tied at, six. at six. Second set. You never know. No. You just got to no, fight. you sure don't. You got to want it more. And Jenna Walters goes to the line. You want to talk about having an athletic family. How about the Walters family? Yeah. Brother drafted by the St. Louis Cardinals earlier this year. Sister was an outstanding athlete. Oh, wow. Nice, nice touch. Nice spot. 7-6, Mustangs. That's uh, Shamaya's strength. Uh, she will look like she's going to smack that ball down line, and she can just tip it real short. Yep. She's a strong lefty as well. Oh, yeah. They got two of them. And that's oh. an ace. Yep. Eight six, Merritt Island. You know, there's a lot of people that say technically that's not because she got a second ball on it. So right. She did touch it, and she had a chance to get it up. So what would you score it? I I would not call that an ace. Okay. Because she played it out of the net and she touched it. All right. All right. So. I'm learning. See, I I'm I'm still learning. Yeah. Nine six. But eight. some coaches will go. Oh, yeah, I give her the ace. Um. But it's playable. The second ball is still playable. Right. It's not technically an ace. No, I got you. I, and you know what? I will change my way of thinking on that. I know, but there's so many people that have. Yeah, but it needs to be consistent. Yes. That's an ace. That's an ace. It's not playable. And Coach Nicole yeah. Hunt with a timeout on the floor. Once again, we want to thank Martinez Construction. And we also want to thank the FHSAA, where the championships are coming up. And I encourage you to check out the website at FHSAA.com. Uh, at the beginning of last season or last year, they updated that website, and it is easily navigatable, and it is absolutely easy on the eyes. It is fantastic. 
They're also available on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, you name it, Snapchat, they're there. Once again, we'd like to thank the Florida High School Athletic Association where the volleyball final fours are coming up in a couple of weeks in Winter Haven. The score here is 10-6. Merritt Island, second set. They won the first set 25-11. to The winner will face the winner between Lake Placid and Satellite right here or at Lake Placid or Satellite on Saturday. <coughs> The Lake Placid and Satellite game is on the NFHS network. Now, it is a pay site, but it's well worth it if you watch a lot of high school sports. And, yes, we are in the second set, by the way. Yep. Somebody had asked. Yeah. 10-7. Good timeout wow. by Coach Hunt. Yes, very good timing. Jasmine Colton comes in and at and right the line. Right now, they need to keep this energy up, Bayside, because, I mean, with this energy and. Kayla McGarren. The serves. Keeping them consistent, they have a chance to at least get closer. But they, it's their offense. Let's say it's offense. Here comes they Jones can put the ball and they want. Yeah, they can. Shh. As uh, Juliana Dush and Heather Ives check out, and Jones will go to the line. This is their strong rotation, by the way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jones, Schwantz, Richardson, Martin, Martin front. Childers, and Johnson. Nice, nice up. Wow, oh, Deep. so close. 12-7. There was no touch. There was no touch. Absolutely. That's all right. Yeah, that was straight hey, you down. Gotta try. Straight <laughs> down. Yeah, that, that was out. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Oh, my, what a dig. Oh, a what a beautiful dig. Yeah, it was. Yes, it was. But it was a little tight, obviously. 13-7, Merritt Island. Jones but that still was at the line. A hit and a half. Serve, receive, monster. Yep. They have now doubled them up, and there's that run we talked about in the yep. first set. You, you're set. You're what are you? In my opinion, six six with them, and now it's fourteen seven. In my opinion, I'd put f four back. Yeah, we need four back right now. Fill yep. in your gaps, and um, honestly, and battle that serve. So when I'd get it, yes. And when I when I used to get into serving uh, problems uh -huh. or serve receive problems. I'd even get one of my strongest front nice row players and I'd pull them back. That way they, I have a strong front row player coming to play back row as well. So funny, uh, Camille, I would do that with her during club season. She's gotcha. an excellent passer. She was actually one of my best passers that gotcha. year. Gotcha. And so I'd sneak her back. She'd end up passing and I always had my other girls that could set. And then we get out of that rotation. That's get why, yourself out of that hole. That's why it's important. By any means. Like a player right. like Shamaya Richardson that can do it all. Absolutely. Right. And, and then that's what they do. You know, if they right. get into serve receive problems, you can pull her back from the front row, put her just in front of the back row, and there's your fourth person. I am learning something new. That's two new things I learned. Like stop teaching me. Yeah. As long <laughs> as they don't overlap, they can do that. There you go. Nice. Uh, let's see what that sets nice. up. Nice. Yeah, shares nice Richardson on that back line. Oh. Childers with the kill, 17-7. We may see Coach Hunt take her second and final time out of the set coming up. She's uh, she's a great coach, Coach yeah. Hunt. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Their uh, defense is struggling right now. Yeah, this is where they hit the wall against Satellite yep. and the serve-receive. Yep. Serve-receive and defense. Coach, is that more of a tendency of a younger Beautiful. team? Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, defense is 18-7. Over time, learned, you know, and if you're young, it's much harder to adjust and being quick and seeing the ball. Um, so it's a physical like and say, a mental thing. Oh, yeah. Okay. Defense wins games in volleyball. That's my opinion. Same thing. Yep. That's, and need, there's an ace, 18-7. Right, right there is... 
one I, thing you can't do is I, give up. You I'll need to get in there and pass that ball. I'll tell you the coach that 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 you clearly, when you watch him coach and watch his team play, mm -hmm. 19-7. Nice pass. The coach that, that, that you really see the defense with – that sets up the offense, in other words. Oh, my goodness. Is Holy nice Trinity. Oh, yeah. Sure. Coach Klonowski. Oh, geez. Yeah. Well. Set. Yeah, he's he definitely uh, presses up. Defense is number one. Yep. Oh, nice little floater there from Walters. Out. That's out. And not touched. Nope. So it's 19-8 on the side out. <laughs> I think the hardest thing for me here is like watching them and going, and oh, not they standing up and screaming and coaching. Yes, because I want to tell her, hey, you, you took that ball behind you. You need to get the ball in front of you. Right. <laughs> this is the super it's, soft. It's super difficult. Let Camille me tell you. Moeller. Oh, what a kill. And I'm but, trying to be biased, you know. Right. <laughs> 19, 20 to eight. So. No, I hear you. It's hard. It it can it's be so hard. That's yeah, for sure. I'm mean, like, I want to be like, hey, you need to open up. You right. Work your angle. Because <laughs> you've coached a lot of the girls ten, on, on uh, base Ten or, years. Yeah. Um, I've coached, but <laughs> I've coached uh, no, only one. One. Camille. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Set here. Oh, oh, what a block by wow. Johnson and Schwartz. Oh my goodness! What happened there? Miscommunication. Yes. Twenty-one that, eight. Talking. Youth. I mean, right there. Youth. Youth. Yep. yep. Miscommunication. What's your job? Who's taking the second ball? It'll come. It will. It will, it's eight. frustrating. It's frustrating. But when you're playing a powerhouse. Yeah, you can't. And uh, Coach Patrick has definitely. Oh, that's a double. Coach Patrick definitely gets these girls ready for everything and anything. She's done something this year, Katrina, that she doesn't normally do. What's that? Look at that bench. She carried oh, 14. she filled it. She yeah. filled it. Yeah, she carried you, 14 this year. Well, and a lot of it has to do with. Um, you know, everybody has their off days. Right. Injuries, sickness. Maddie I mean, Johnson. You got to be ready. And you got to take your younger girls. Oh, what a out, hey, uh, nice. That's a kill. Out, though. That's a kill. Need a roster? Um, and that's important is getting your younger girls ready to come up. But yeah, fill your bench. The great Craig Bailey from. Florida oh, today what, is here. What a bump set. Wow. 22. What a that was great. 10. And this they pulled away here in the second yeah, set. Setting up a third set finish. Oh, well, they're putting the freshman in. Yeah, she her sister. Amber Ives? Yeah, Amber yep. Ives, yep. Ives? Amber Ives. Her sister's Heather Ives. Yep. Set by Colton. Or not Colton, uh, Moeller. Ooh, no, no touch. 23 to 10, Merritt Island. I couldn't get up in the perch tonight because of my knee. So we're sitting down. We usually we sit up there. Poor yeah. Allen. I know. And this is set point at 24 to 10. Can't tell you how important serve receive is. Yep. And trying to finish it off here will be Ives. She has a beautiful serve. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, it is. That's tough. That's touched. That's a double. Yep. Over. Oh. Yep. Oh, She's over back the, row. yeah. Yep. Set to the Mustangs. She can't jump. 25 Not 10. Much can do with there except for stay on the ground and punch it. <laughs> All right. They lead it two sets to none. Back with the third set here on BSN.
All right, welcome back. I want to thank Mart, uh, Martinez Construction again and, of course, the Mustang Side Out Club. And again, folks, I hate to be pounding at home, but they need to finish this project of sand courts here. And please help them to their goal. And uh, there's the information on the Send bottom of the dollar. screen how you can help. And as Katrina said, <laughs> even a dollar will help. You're a baseball coach too, aren't you? Yes, I am All for right. Merritt Island Little League. There you go. This is my first year coaching. Um, How do you like it? You know, I honestly, I didn't think I was going to be so into it. And I love it. Yeah. Well, and I never knew I could hit a have baseball so doing, far. Have you started doing the signs and all that yet? Nah, not yet. All right. I just yell at them. <laughs> <laughs> and you hit. I hit. And I never thought I could hit a baseball. <laughs> Let me tell you, I almost hit a home run there today. Oh, my goodness. It hit the top of the fence, fell back inside the fence. I was so mad. Well, athletes are athletes. Yeah. And you know what? There's a lot of technique that baseball oh, yeah. has that you use in volleyball. Yep. So. Legs. Oh, she was in the net. Yep. All right, let's give you the starters for this set here. For Bayside, it'll be Culp, Moeller, Walters, McGarren, Waskowitz, and... I don't think she liked that call. Kelly McLean. She did not like that call. For Merritt Island, it'll be Elena Martin, Annabelle Jones, Shamaya Richardson, Sarah Niazzi's in there. Third away. Oh, no, she didn't. As well as... Oh, my goodness. Maddie Johnson and Bella Swans. That has Swans. to go over. Tight, tight, tight. Oh, she got it again. See, you're coaching yep, and broadcasting I know. at the same time. See? That's the hard part. Yes. Yes, it is. And it's two to nothing, Bayside. But that's what I would want my girls Third saying. Third set. You know? Yep. Tight, 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 tight. <laughs> and at the line is number 11, Camille Moeller. Oh, nice little oh, touch oh, shot. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, she hurt. I hope Almost. Not. She almost got a fist to the face. Like she's like, no, I got it. I'm good. And they say that volleyball is not a contact oh, sport. Oh, no, that floor Whoop. hurts. Bull. And when you hit your own player. Elena Martin has been tasked with setting as well for Coach Pack. She's got two very good, three very good setters heading deep into this tournament. She's obviously got Martin. She's got Sarah Niazzi who can set two. And, of course, the setter uh, on the roster, Annabelle Jones. Jones has been outstanding this year as a sophomore for Coach Patrick. Big serve, and that's an ace. Wow. Oh, she can play. No. Nope. No, nah, I can't, can't play, play it off the no, basketball. Not the side. Yep. yep. Usually the one in the back you can, but definitely not on the side because that's over the bench. And just like that, it's 2 2. Just like that. Oh. And that's a serve. Unusual. There. Yeah, unusual it is. miss by her. Mitch Jacobs. The R1, not sure who the R2 is. And this is Kaylee McLean, the serve. Set by Elena Beautiful Martin. Beautiful set. Yeah, oh, was. my goodness. Come on. Oh, nice dig. The Aussie. That's Ives. Coming around. Coming around. Ives. <laughs> I said it. Coming around. That swing. That's, is, that's, is that or is that not one of the hardest shots in volleyball? Down that net like it that. It is. It is. It takes a lot of control. Uh, it also takes control on the hitter to not hit the net because you're full just coming at it, turning. But it's very smart. Harley Blue checks in. Bella Swan serving. That's an ace. Wow. Three, four, three. They know who to serve to. I mean, I'm just saying, it's the time to pull well, your, yeah, they this know. is the time to pull your Pull that, your girl back. That's Pull why they. Back. That's why they. They watch film. Yep. Oh, nice up. Nice oh up. yeah, nice Way to job. play it out of the net. That oh. takes a lot. And Camille is really doing well with that. Call. Wow, back corner. Four Wide four. Wide open. You know, if they keep finding that spot in the one, they they could, they could rack up some points. Yeah. They've been. Um, Merritt's defense has been. Um, a little bit shallow in the back, in the mid-back, yep. and she finds that one. Well, they, that's what Walters was talking about in that first set when they got, you remember? Oh, she can't was miss your pointing set. and telling them. Yeah. 5-4. Yeah, and there's a, you know, every team has a, what I call a weak spot. Yep. Or if you, if you read their defense, you can kind of tell where they play, whether it's, you know, perimeter. Shemaya Richardson serving here, Shemaya. 
Big left-handed serve. And wow. Nice, okay, okay. Nice I'm kind of shocked, but. Oh, watch Martin set this. And wow. Pam Childers throws it down. She's amazing. She gets so high. 6-4. She's got great vertical. Oh, my gosh. Her vertical's insane. That's out. 6-5. And this is where we were the last couple of sets. Right here. And it was at this point that Merritt Island began to pull away. Yes. So let's see. That's maturity. Yeah, if Bayside and, uh, can hang in there a little experience. longer. Amber Waskowitz to serve. Yeah, I mean. Oh, that's tight. That, yeah, that's tough. Wow. Nice job by she Heather. She got that up, though. Wow. Nice up. Oh, boy. Oh, that's nice in. job. Heather Ives wow. with the kill. And she'll touch up. Annabelle, or I'm sorry, uh, Juliana Dush, as Juliana checks in. Dutch checks in, and it's now Dutch, Schwantz, Richardson, Martin, Childers, and Johnson. And the Mustangs with a 7-5 lead. Let's see if they extend this or double them up here. Wow, nice float, nice, whoa. No Miscommunication. Yep, no communication there, 8-5. Well, here's the reason why, too. They don't have their libero in, so Camille is a front row setter. Right. And they don't have the libero in, so Camille is supposed to take that second ball, but usually your libero does when it's that far back. So. She'll learn. Yep. And wow. Oh, Jenna Walters. That was a beautiful Now, set. Walters and Colton. And that have, was a beautiful hit. And that's the kind of balls she needs. She needs low, fast sets. They're two of the best arms in the county, Colton yep. and Walters. If, if Camille can keep that set that low every time, she'll put it away. Oh. Wow. And you that's not, the second time. Way too two, many misses. Well, the two big hitters each time they've stepped to the line. Yep. They have gone have into the net with the ball. Yeah. You, you can't, can't do, do that. that against the Mustangs. Nope. Every point counts. Nine, every point counts. Six Childers at the line. Walters. Wow. Uh, I'm surprised she didn't swing nice at that. Nice kill. You got to put balls away, too. You don't give this team free balls. No, nope. Bella <laughs> Schwantz found that little angle there and yep. just drilled it down. Barry, that went through 520. You can't give them free balls. Shoulders again, 10 6. Wow. Nice serve. Oh. And that one goes off the arm on McLean. Got to get underneath that one. Yep. It's tough. Watching Coach Nicole Hunt here, I would imagine a timeout will come. Yeah, and the, it should be right now. If the um, Mustangs you need to stop this, get for this sure. point. Yeah, I my, my rule is three. Three. That's a, that's too many points. Set, Dutch. Oh. I don't know what that was. Uh, too short of us. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> oh, nice block. Nice. Out of bounds, though. Well, out of bounds. They didn't get the that's point. Kill. Colton comes back in, 11-7, Merritt Island. Yeah, I definitely would have called the timeout. And at, that next ball come. at the line, Kayla McGarren now, the libero oh, checks back in. and the libero in. just checked back in, too. Still the and Childers checks out with Niazi in, so both liberos are in. Yep. Oh, nice cross court. McGarren. Gotta get him tighter. There it is. Colton. Yep. <laughs> I'll tell you, it's... Pretty much a stamp if Camille gets that set. Look at her jigging. And that's that's what I love about her. She's fun. And when she starts on a roll, the whole team little goes. Little shoulder shimmy. Yep. Um, yeah, if she keeps some balls that low, they're going to score some points. Oh, man. Wow. I was going to say, man, yeah. putting this away. 12 to 8. The football team is in the house now, yeah. at least some of them. Some. Must have just got out of practice. Yeah. They got a big game coming up Friday, the Banana River Rivalry. You'll see it here on BSN against Satellite. Oh, yeah. I watched that game, the Rockledge game. Oh, wow. That rain came, wasn't it? Wasn't it raining yeah. or something? Oh, my goodness. That's out. Oh. 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 Back line. Yeah, it was. Uh-uh. 13-8. Uh -uh. Mitch uh -uh. Jacobs Mitch says. Mitch is overturned. Yeah, Mitch says no, no. No, no. Did he I say it was a touch? No, he, it was out. Okay. It was just out. I mean, I, I thought it was out. I thought it was out, too. So. 13-8. Walters with the receive. 
Colton. Oh. Yeah, it needs to be a little bit tighter. And a little bit tighter. 14, she, hey, she might just let him play through this down two sets to none. I'd still time out. Come on. Come on. They were putting up such a good fight, you know? Yep. 14-8. Come on, come on. There you go, girl. Wow. And that's a kill by Colton. Beautiful. 14-9, McClinn checks in. I mean, we want, we want a match, you know? We want to yeah, watch Yeah, <laughs> I know. I know. But so why not? next year, this Bayside team will give them oh, one. Oh, yeah. I, I think so. How many people will be leaving the Mustangs, though? Not many. No. Not many at all. Now, wow, what a block. The key for the Bayside this year is the off-season workout program. Let's see. Yeah, I think they only had three One, seniors. two. Oh, yeah, Bella's coming back. She's a junior. Wow, what a swing. Nice up, Camille. Out. Oh, it was in. Nice call by Torch. 15-10. So there's three seniors? Heather, Heather Ives. Yeah, I think so. Loggins is a senior. Yeah, Riley Cameron's Loggins, a senior. Maddie Johnson, and Cam Childers. Oh, okay, that's the other one I forgot. Yep. Johnson. Oh, nice job. Set Martin. Yep. And here they go, 1610. Wow. But that's one of their major outsides. T O T O, there it is. We'll step aside right back on BSN. All right, welcome back. Look at here. your body, look at your body. The ball comes all the way turn up. Turn that body inside, girl. 17 10 is the Mustangs. Look to finish off Bayside in three straight here, and they are heading that way. Let's Pulling look away. at the rest of the teams in the region here as we look. Who's playing tonight? Well, oh, that was a beautiful set. That's all right. Good swing, though. All right, so you got number two, Wesley Chapel. Oh, that's right. Number three, Pine oh, Ridge. Oh, Satellite's playing tonight. Satellite and uh, Gateway. Uh, that's who. Where's will, Gateway at? Kissimmee. Oh. Number six is River Ridge. Number seven is Tavares. And eight is Bayside. I'm going to be honest with you, Katrina. And I'm not saying this just because I'm a Brevard County guy. Right. Nice up by Camille. But. There's nobody in this region that's going to beat this Merritt no. Island team. No, I don't think so either. Now, wait a second. Now, Jensen Beach. Not in the region. Oh, they're not. Well, yeah, I meant that's for state. Yeah. Well, I yeah. I, yeah. yeah. Now, now, Jensen You're Beach. You're talking about the region. Correct. Yeah. Absolutely no. Because this year, the FHSAA, it is 19 to 11, by the way. Two sets then on Merritt Island. The FHSA used to hold the final four in conjunction with the finals, and they stopped doing that for a oh, while. Yeah. But they go back to it this year. So I believe Merritt Island and Vieira will be in that final four. Oh, yeah, for sure. That's was a that? kill, oh, 20 wow. to 11. I, and I also want to, before I forget, thank all of you for tuning in. 
here tonight on Brevard Sports Network. And we want to thank Martinez Construction and the Merritt Island Side Out Club. We will be back here on Saturday for the regional semifinals match. And we'll also have the regional finals match. Yeah, I'll try to be here on Saturday. All right. And that's, that's out. out. 21 to 11. No touch. Well, thanks for having me. Absolutely. Love having coaches on. Yeah. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Free one hit. here. That was Mark a good hit. Childers. Oh, that ball was going out. Cam Bam that with the kill. Out. 20. Two, that was a tough one not to touch. To 11. Yeah, it is. Uh, uh, it's either that or your head. It would have been out. But yeah. There will be no post-game interviews tonight because I don't interview in the regional quarters. Oh, wow. Now, I will interview at the regional semis and the regional finals. 23-11. Mustang doing what they do. Yep. And the final timeout of the season for the Bears. And I just want to say congratulations to Coach Nicole Hunt on her Bears. Yes, congratulations. This was the first FHSAA state tournament appearance ever and that's for her exciting. program. And you got to start somewhere. You do. So here they are. Now next year, I won't be as nice. In other <laughs> words, with the talent that they have coming back yep. next year, I expect They should things. be back. Yeah. They should be back. Yep. And yeah. I expect them, if they're back in 5A, to give these Mustangs a run. Yeah, they could. But like we were just talking about, Mustangs are not losing very many. No, they're not. And they have uh, a few J JV players coming up, I'm sure. It will be the team just as good. that works the hardest in the offseason. Absolutely. It always yeah, is, Katrina. It's always offseason. Yep. That's where champions are made. That's right. As Riley Loggins looks to finish off the Bayside Bears. High arcing set. That's, woo, nice job by that was Jasmine pretty. Colton. She knew that she had that double, double block on her. And I don't know if anybody from Vieira is going to reach out, but if we get a sponsor for Vieira, we'll be there Saturday. I hope they do. 23-12. Oh, I. What's still with a hit. You love that. Uh-huh. You still get a free ball and you get a hit. That's, That's in. in. That's in. Nice kill by Walters. Hey, they're not giving up. And they scored more points in this set than they yep. did the previous two. They're so. not giving up. No. No quit. Hey, you made it this far. Let's go. Let's you know? do it. Keep playing. They started off the season this year 7-0, and then went 3-4, and four, and they dropped eight of their final ten. But that's the inconsistency of youth. Yep, it is. And they'll get more mature. And experience. Yeah, and they'll get more experience from yep. this. McClinn. Oh, that's put away. Childers. <laughs> Match point. I already knew that was going away. Yep. Match point. You put a ball perfectly in the air with these girls, and they're putting it away. Amber Ives to serve for the match to send the Mustangs to the regional semifinals for the 20th straight year. Oh boy, not a free ball, oh. Martin, wow. and there it is, 25-13. The Mustangs take it, 25-11, 25-10, 25-13. We want to thank Martinez Construction, and we want to thank the Lady Mustang Side Out Club. Coach, final thoughts. Can't wait for some more this weekend. It's coming up, that's for sure. Stay tuned to Brevard Sports Network. We'll tell you what and where we'll be. We definitely know we'll be here on Saturday as the Mustangs will host either Satellite or Gateway. For Katrina Garcia, I'm Alan Slaughter-Zinski. Thanks again. For the Brevard Sports Network. Have a great night, everybody.